Right now, I want to make sure that you take out your phone, be sure that you put it on camera, scan the QR code that's in the corner here, but we're coming out from behind the QR code. I have been waiting to see this. The boat's coming out. All right. <laughs> It takes little to nothing to excite me. <laughs> Anything weather or ocean related, I get really charged up about. Okay. But as you can see, the boats are able to manage everything, despite the fact that the winds are pushing out to the southwest at about 17 miles per hour, while my co-anchors crack up on the set looking at me and my juvenile, uh, well, kid-like enthusiasm for the weather and the ocean. There we go. Here we go. Live radar. We are actually starting to see the precipitation from earlier today. They really put a kibosh on a great live enthusiasm for the White Marlin Open this morning. Well, now most of that rain has carried on to the northeast and out of the way. We're still staying cloudy and still staying a little bit on the breezy side as a result of that. Wider scope of view is showing us we do see this, this way pushing out of the way. And as you take a look at the area where we've had the most rain, here's the latest track. This is a really neat map, by the way. This is showing you the track where all the rain has fallen, okay? It, like, tracked it throughout the entire day. So the reason why you, you didn't feel it, let's say, in Seaford and all that, you guys weren't in the track of the main push of that rain, but across Chris Field, over towards Ocean City, right where the Marlin Open is located, that's where the majority of the rain hit for the entire day thus far. And we're looking at most of this pushing out of the way courtesy of a warm front that's sliding this through. Now, if this was cold front inspired showers moving quickly, we talk about a whole different thing. Wouldn't be so casual about it, but that's okay. We've had nearly three quarters of an inch of rain that's fallen in Ocean City, because once again, that was the concentrated area. But other areas that did receive just a little bit of rain, just shy of a quarter of an inch and just a little bit over that in Indian River Inlet, Bethany Beach, Dagsboro, Salisbury, and even less than that in Rehoboth as well as Laurel. Here's a look at the temps. We are in the 70s everywhere. 77 in Rehoboth, as well as Selbyville, Milford, and Greenwood, for example. Our risk of stormy weather, well, we're at the marginal category for this evening, so we're not overly concerned about severe weather, but we're gonna watch out for some heavy downpours just in case something tries to get sneaky. You see our forecasting models, indicating late into the night we might see a spot shower but then it just disappears suddenly like that so i'm going hmm i'm gonna rerun it again tonight because you know computers are computers you know what i'm saying so here's a look at our yoga for, uh, yoga cast for tonight we're looking at future cast for friday we're going to stay pretty much clear going into saturday and then for thursday uh, excuse me as we go into what's happening for the weekend for our gardening forecast we're going to need to um to water our gardens until we get to Monday and Tuesday, because that's when we're expecting another round of rain to kick in. Saturday, winds are out of the south, and we got that moisture kicks in. So for tonight, clearing out and cooling off. Tomorrow, 88. Then the muggies kick back in on Saturday. Here's a look at your extended and exclusive forecast. We'll hold off on the rain until Monday and Tuesday. For you 